Today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to take your clean from this to this. Actually, it probably won't be that big of a difference, but you get the idea. Welcome back to another video. Super excited to have y'all here. Welcome to all my new people from Reddit. I was wondering why I was getting so many subscribers, but then I figured it out. So whoever posted that, I appreciate you. Shout out to you. Uh, if you're new around here, my name is Nate. I'm an Olympic weightlifter. The channel is all about my journey through weightlifting and my life. And along the way, I just hope to inspire you guys, help you guys out, give you tips, entertain you, whatever it may be. Today, we got a great video planned for you guys. I'm going to be giving y'all five tips to improve your clean. I've been seeing a few questions about making a video about the clean, clean and jerk. So today, I'm going to go ahead and make a video about the clean. Five tips. Um, first, we got to grab some breakfast. So for breakfast, we got nothing but anabolic calories, eggs, and oatmeal. You guys know the phrase, I hate oatmeal, but it's anabolic, baby. And then we got, of course, I didn't go to Starbucks, this is a reusable cup. Ah. This is going to bring me to the first tip of the day on how to improve your clean. But before I start, I also want to give a little bit of a disclaimer. I'm not in any way a coach. Um, I'm not certified, I don't have my level, whatever. All this comes from my personal experience and knowledge that gets passed down from my coach to me. And this is kind of my perspective on everything. So I'm putting my perspective out there for you guys. Take it or leave it, take it with a grain of salt, live by it. I don't know, I don't know what you wanna do, but yeah, that's basically what I'm trying to say. The first tip I have for you guys on improving your clean is going to be Watch some YouTube videos. Not necessarily on how to clean or all that stuff. Literally, just go on YouTube and search up Olympic weightlifting training hall. I don't know. There's millions of videos, probably not millions, but there's plenty of videos of people, elite weightlifters, cleaning. And you can definitely take something away from that. Just by watching it and consuming it, I feel like your brain will kind of be like, oh, okay, that's that's how it works. And Another piece of advice, sorry the sprinklers are going off right now, of course, and there's leaf blowers going around. And when you're like taking away technique and all that, like try and look at someone with a similar body style, body shape as you. You know, I'm a little bit taller, I'm a little bit lengthier, but not super lengthy. So I, but for example, I'm not gonna be trying to clean like um Yun Chol, you know? Or I'm not gonna be trying to, that's on one extreme end. And on the other end, I'm not gonna be trying to clean like Lasha or Sisman Kolecki. I'm probably going to, when I look at cleans, I try to look at someone like probably Lee Dayan, Mezzo, Hasana, I don't know how to really say his name, from Qatar, or someone like Shi. Uh, it won't be exactly like them, but I can kind of take away stuff from their lifts because they have a similar body type as me. That is my first tip. Look at the elites, look at what they do. That is tip number one. Watch some YouTube videos on Elite Weightlifters. I hope that helps. I hope that's a, a good little tip. So do that. But yeah, just don't just watch it. Like analyze it and critique it and see how you could implement it into your lifting. So that is tip number one. Um, I gotta get to training now. So let's head out. All right, y'all. So the plan for training today, we are on a deload week. It is Thanksgiving week this week. We hit the last two weeks pretty hard, um, which was nice because I haven't been able to lift that hard since my little back tweak and elbow tweak. Feeling amazing now. We got uh, cleans today, which goes along perfect with the theme of this video. But I just wanted to let you guys know, it's not going to be anything super crazy because it is a deload week. And for tape, I'm using this right now. I gave up on the Average Bros and Lift Genie. All of, all of it just slips right off my, my fingers. And yeah. guys so for tip number two it is going to be focus on bar progressions bar progressions are the first time you touch the bar for the day so it should be with a lot of focus and intent um, if you guys 
are kind of lost on what to do for a specific bar warm up or bar progression, you can kind of follow what I do here. I do um, I'd warm up the front squat in each position, warm up the pool in each position. Uh, we do not do clean high pulls. Coach Doe does not believe in those. And what I may, what I mean by each position is in the squat is quarter, half, and full depth, around three to four times each. And then for pull, we do hip, mid thigh, above the knee, and below the knee pulls. And then after that, we do tall cleans, just straight from the hip, but into the quarter depth, half depth, and full depth. And one thing I wanted to point out, guys, is my tall clean. Um, I honestly, I've been slacking on doing progressions a little bit. My tall clean, um, since I've been doing doubles, I've been doing cleans a lot more often. So I already feel warmed up and I already feel ready to go. So honestly, you guys, I'm calling myself out. I have been slacking on progressions a little bit. So as you guys can see, um, I'll slow it down here for you guys. As I pull, I'm a little bit forward already. Uh, I've been, I was trying to imitate having my chest over the bar, but it ended up just making me go forward. Um, which is not good and then as you guys will see I kind of do a little hitch and then bring my hips to the bar rather than just pulling the bar up and getting under um, so what you guys are seeing right now is the incorrect way to do the tall clean I uh, just have a minor adjustment I need to make and which I will be focusing on the next time I do cleans and the next time I do bar progressions so good thing I saw this good thing I videoed this because it is a technique or it is a flaw in my technique that I've noticed so yeah um, that is it for tip number two don't be afraid to work with the bar master the bar and be comfortable with the bar. And also don't be afraid to call yourself out just like I did. So that is gonna be tip number two. And yeah, tip number three is coming up right now. So don't go anywhere. All right guys, tip number three is going to be kind of specific and it'll be kind of short as well. But I thought I'd throw it in there because it is something that helped me tremendously with timing issues and um, uh, catch issues so last year when I was prepping for the American Open final I noticed some workouts I'd have a hard time with the catch of the clean like I'd I let I'd go down too fast and I'd let the bar crash on me uh, making it way uh, way more inefficient getting out of the clean so what I found that helped is thrown in power cleans as you're warming up if you do a few power cleans as you're warming up, say you have three reps at as you're warming up, say do a power clean on the middle one or the first one or the last one, you know, um, because ideally your power cleans and or with any lift really, your powers and fools should be have the exact same bar path and they should have the exact same feel. The only difference between the power and the full is that you're just catching the power high. Your feet shouldn't be wider than normal. You should just catch and stop the bar higher. So um, what doing a power clean helps with me, what it kind of clicked in my brain is it made me think about catching the bar high and then writing it down. Cause that is ultimately what, what you want to do. You don't want to be diving straight under and letting the bar crash on you. Cause it's just going to lead to inefficiencies. So make sure um, you're catching the bar high and then writing it down. So you can kind of think of it as just doing a power clean and then um, a front squat, but all together. So that is one thing that helped me guys. And that is going to be it for tip number three. Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Um, if you are, leave a like down below. And the last two tips are coming, so don't you guys go anywhere. And I appreciate y'all and I'm out. Oh yeah, and this is Thursday, so have a happy Thanksgiving. Finished up with that workout. Like I said, it is deload week, so it's nothing crazy. We had clean triples at 120 and fours on jerks at 120. Finished up with accessories, core, all that good stuff. But plans have kind of changed for today. Now I got a car to detail. I don't know if you guys saw them in one of my previous videos. That is my side hustle. That is how I make most of my money, is detailing cars now. Don't worry, we're still gonna be talking about cleaning. 
you know, we're cleaning weight and then we're gonna be cleaning cars, I guess. But we're right now, we're heading home and we are going to get some calories in this. You just gotta be anabolic. You gotta be anabolic 24-7. Look at this. I have a new setup. Woo! Board. This is the monitor that I had before. We picked up an Asus gaming monitor. Got the LEDs in the back, baby. Xbox. This is my gaming station. This is where I do my homework, all that stuff. Edit, and then for streaming, I'll have all my stream stuff pulled up right there. Super exciting. And we have the monitor arms. So we have this clean, open area down here. Super nice, super hyped about it. Um, it's a nice setup. But anyway guys, before I head out to do this detail, I wanted to explain tip number four before I head out. Tip number four guys is you're gonna wanna front squat more. In reality, there should be no reason why you're getting pinned while you're standing up to clean. You should be able to stand up right away with it. Front squat twice a day, I don't know. Just literally front squat your brains out and it will help. Guys, when I was 16, preparing for the American Open three years ago, I PR'd my front squat at 190 kilos. At that competition, I clean and jerked 145. So my max clean was 145, front squatting 190. No problem standing up with a clean. So you need to really get a gap between your clean and your front squat. And along with that, your core becomes tighter, your position becomes better, and standing up with the clean is just gonna be no problem. You're gonna be comfortable standing up with it. You're gonna be comfortable with it on your shoulders because you've had 40, 50 kilos more on your shoulders multiple times. That's all it is, guys. And don't ask why, my front, my front squat's only 200 right now, so don't ask why it's only gone up 10 kilos in three years. There's reasons for that, I'm not gonna be making excuses, it's just, that's the way it is. Next year, I'm really hoping to get into that 220 to 230 range on front squat. I uh, just gotta keep my body healthy is the biggest thing and then you know then that then that pushes the clean to 180 185 190 you know what I mean you need to have the separation between your front squat and clean I believe um, really makes the clean a lot easier plus like I said your your lats will be looser you'll be you'll be more flexible you'll be in the position more it translates over tremendously again guys you want things that translate over to the actual competition lift that's why I was saying you want your powers and your fools to be the same exact range of motion the only difference is you just catch it higher so you need Need to have things transfer over to the actual lift and that I think is the most important if you're doing a bunch of shit that doesn't correlate or it doesn't translate over properly you're just you're gonna be doing all that for no reason so yeah that is that is tip number four guys front squat your brains off you guys are back squatting a lot or you guys or you feel like you're not squatting enough you know give your coach a heads up listen to your coach guys you don't need want to boss your coach around if you have suggestions you need to communicate with them that's what they're for your coach and you should have a good relationship where you guys can communicate, bounce ideas off each other and get better. That's all it is guys. So front squat your brains out. We're gonna go, we're gonna go now. We gotta go detail and make some, make some moolah. Stay tuned though, cause I'll be telling you guys reason number five. So stay tuned. Co-CEO of Parkwood Detailing. The boys gotta make a stop. And I'm pretty sure you guys already know what's going down. All right boys. <laughs> What is up y'all? It is currently 8 p.m. and we're chilling in the hot tub now. Getting our body right, it is time for the final tip 
of the video. And I hope you guys have been enjoying the video so far. Tip number five is going to be change it up. Sometimes you keep doing the same damn thing over and over and you work up to a certain weight and when you get to that certain weight, you just shit the bed. Change it up. It can kind of feel like you're just banging your head on the wall. Just keep banging your head on the wall and nothing's coming out of it. Kind of cater whatever you're struggling with. A faster turnover. Power cleans, hang cleans, block work, tall cleans, you know. If your pool is slow, your back is weak. Slow clean, deadlifts, clean pools, you know, just change it up. Your body might need some sort of new stimulus. You know, go from the low blocks, go from the above knee blocks, do it from the hang. Or you could even change up your training intensity or, or workload, you know, do volume, do triples, do fours, hell, do fives. Sometimes you just need to get away from the heavy doubles. Sometimes you, your body needs a new stimulus and it needs to adapt. You have to be creative and you have to find a way and say your coach is programming for you, you can always communicate with them. Like I said, communication is super important with your coach. You know what coach, I think I need something new. This, I just feel like I'm not progressing at all and I'm just banging my head against the wall. Can we try something? Can we try a different variation? You know, can we try a complex? Can we, there's many, many exercises. If it's just not going your way, try a different variation. Change it up, change up your intensity, change up, I don't know what shirt you're wearing that didn't make sense but you guys get the point make your body adapt to a new stimulus so that's going to be the end of the video guys five ways to improve your clean or get better at the clean i hope you guys took something away from this i really do and if you made it to the end of the video without skipping anything you're a trooper i appreciate you we're right on the cusp of blowing up guys and i, I believe we get there and this would not be possible without every single one of you the fact that you guys are even watching me and and I'm like impacting people is is still I can't process it it's pretty crazy but please guys if you have any questions if you just want to say hi please do not hesitate to hit me up on Instagram or leave a comment below because I'm always open to reply to you guys and say what's up because you guys are awesome if you're new around here hit the sub button if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like down below and it's Thursday yep this will be out on Thursday everyone um, if you celebrate Thanksgiving, have a happy Thanksgiving, eat lots of food, and we'll see you guys next time. Lately I've been